ود عباس رئيس دورة فلسطين للقاء كلمة. I call President Mahmoud Abbas of Palestine to deliver his message. In the name of Allah, the Omnipotent, the Merciful, O believers, stand steadfast with patience and fear God so you may thrive. These are words from the Holy Scripture. Your Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Your Majesties, Royal Highnesses, Your Excellencies, Heads of State and Heads of Delegation, may God's peace and blessings be with you. They believe that their military might will protect them and intimidate us, yet we are the rightful owners of the land, Jerusalem, and holy sites that will remain us united and the occupation will come to an end. As I speak to you, our Palestinian people have been reeling to the most heinous, ferocious aggression. It is not but a genocide war by the Israeli killing machine that has been violating the international law, the international humanitarian law, and breached all red lines as they have killed and injured more than 40,000 Palestinians, most of whom are women, children, and elders, in addition to the total destructions of thousands of residential homes on the heads of their residents. This is what happened in one month. What if it remains and continues thereafter? At the same time, the West Bank and Jerusalem are coming under daily attacks by the Israeli occupation forces as well as the terrorist illegal settlers. My heart is heavy with sadness and, with, and grief for the killing of thousands of children and annihilation of total households, destruction of hospitals, mosques, churches, and schools in Gaza Strip. It defies logic that this is happening before the eyes of the whole world without immediate action, without putting an end, immediate end to this war and sparing our unarmed civilian people from these atrocities. How long will these violations, atrocities, absence of justice continue against our people? I am certain that you cannot accept nor you, nor any free man in the world would accept these dual standards or accept that our people will remain victims to this ethnic cleansing, genocidal war. The Israeli occupation forces and those who support and protect them are totally responsible for the killing and the injury of each and every Palestinian woman and child. The occupiers will be brought to justice before the international criminal courts. Even if we have to go to the corner of the world, and in this context, we would like to point out that the United States that have the major impact or influence on Israel is totally responsible for the absence of a diplomatic solution. And we call on the U.S. administration to put an end to the Israeli aggression, the Israeli occupation and violation and desecration of our holy sites. Yes, we call on the United States administration. Mr. President, this is a historical moment. Each and one, all and each, must live up to his responsibility for the restoration of peace and security foundations in the region to avoid recurrence of violence 
And in order to achieve this, we emphasize the following. First, the Security Council to live up to its responsibility and obligation to put an end to this belligerent war on against our people without further delay and the delivery of relief aid, medical supply, restoration of fuel, electric power to Gaza Strip, and prevention of forcible transfer of our Gazans, our Palestinian fellow Palestinians in Gaza and West Bank, which is totally and categorically rejected. Second, no military or security solutions are acceptable, as they have all failed, and the Israeli occupation forces undermine the two-state solution with their illegal settlement policies, genocide, aggression, and above all, the unjust siege laid around Gaza and the violation of the historic and legal status of the Christian and Muslim holy sites. We will hold steadfast, holding our ground on our own homeland, and we cannot bargain over our established rights. We reiterate that Gaza Strip is part and parcel of the state of Palestine, and the diplomatic solution must be inclusive of all the Palestinian territories, including Gaza, Jerusalem, and West Bank. And we reject Israel's piracy over our funds transferred to Gaza Strip on a monthly basis, whom we did not abandon for a single day. The total budget expend in Gaza Strip since 2007 exceeded $20 billion. It is our duty, it is our obligation towards our fellow Palestinians to ensure they are provided with health, education, power, water, and other basic services in addition to the salaries of employees, let alone the social welfare. We call on the Security Council that Palestine is granted its permanent membership and the international protection to the Palestinian people provided. And this is what we have repeatedly demanded Yet, we are abandoned and left alone to face the Israeli occupation forces with their aggression and belligerent war. We need and we seek international protection for our unarmed civilian Palestinian people on the basis of the Arab Peace Initiative to put an end to the occupation and have the Palestinian independent state on the 1967 border established and the Palestinian refugee issue be resolved under the United, Sta United Nations resolutions with a clear mechanism of implementation. This is what are working on and complied by the Palestinian Authority, the sole and lawful representative of the Palestinian people. I call on rallying the international support to enable the Palestinian state institutions to continue to fulfill their duties to support our Palestinians in Gaza Strip, including the rebuilding of Gaza Strip, and to have your resolutions with regards to, you to support our budget implemented in order to provi provide the monetary safety network endorsed in the previous summit, mainly at this dire time, and also to provide resources to bring the Palestinian economy back on its feet at the earliest and without delay. We also reiterate that we will continue to implement reform plans across our institutions, and we are willing to have general, presidential, and parliamentary elections across all the Palestinian territories, including Jerusalem. To conclude, we thank His Royal Highness, the monarch of Saudi Arabia, King Salman bin Abdulaziz, 
and the Crown Prince, the President of this summit, Prince Mohammed bin Salman, the, the Royal Highnesses and Majesties, the rulers and the heads of state for providing support and solidarity with our people at this grave hour. And I wouldn't fail to remember to thank all the peoples of the world who took to the streets protesting and demonstrating in support of our established lawful rights. And as we mark the anniversary of demise of late President Yasser Arafat, to our people we say, here we stay, remain steadfast, and by the grace of God we will end up victorious.